In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish Center of Excellence Starter Kit reports. Now, before you publish Center of Excellence Starter Kit reports, uh, there are sort of some sort of prerequisite which you need to follow. Now, one is you need to have the latest version of the Power BI Desktop version, which I'm going to show you in this video, uh, how to download it. Then you need to provision a Power BI workspace to publish the report. And I'm assuming that you have a good amount of license set either a power bi pro or a premium so that you can provision a workspace which is other than your personal workspace then power platform environment hosting coe app so you need to have center of excellence starter kit installed and this is like the next step uh, like you uh, provision the power bi report so i'm assuming that center of excellence starter kit is installed and then you have already configured all the apps uh, residing in the core components nurture components uh, governance components okay uh and then you need to get the environment url so i'll show you all the steps uh in action okay uh you need to download coe starter kit latest update that is uh it's september 2023 for me as of the recording now once you download the starter kit you will see uh like i think five pbit file which is a power bi template file it's a template file you need to generate a pbix file so that's an instance file of that okay i'll show you how to generate out of those uh those pbid okay and then you can configure the dashboard okay so these are the steps basically to publish a center of excellence starter report starter kit report now what are the steps to publish now what you need to do you need to open each pbid file in power bi desktop it will ask for parameter now for two reports the parameters are a bit different you know you need to put the entire url with the protocol but for two uh, dashboard the url is a bit different you know now when you open that dashboard you will see some sort of a prompt okay here you need to put in the url now you need to be a bit careful that you don't put the uh, say protocol for power platform admin planning and pulse dashboard because it, it requires a different parameter okay now if you put the parameter correctly it will start loading the data model and uh, once it is ready you can save the power bi file so here you will generate the pbix file once that pbx file is generated then you can connect to your power bi workspace by logging into the power bi desktop and then you can publish the power bi file to center of excellence workspace okay so let me uh, <clears throat> show you an action first in order to go to power bi downloads power bi desktop what you need to do is navigate to this url okay now once you are in this url you can go to microsoft power bi desktop and then click on advanced download options at that time whatever is the latest it will show you uh, to download and you can go ahead and download the the version now for me it's 29th of the 8th is the latest version i can download the file i can click on download and then i can download the 64-bit version and then download it and i will be ready with my power bi desktop application okay now uh, also from a service perspective you need to have uh, a power bi workspace okay so i've already created a workspace now if you don't know how to create a workspace i will run a separate video of it uh, but I'll show you in brief, like you need to go into the left side and workspace, click on new workspace. And here you can put the name of the workspace description and you can put the all those images and uh, <clears throat> assign owner to that particular workspace. Okay, so I've already provisioned a workspace. Now the workspace already has some sort of a report and a data set. Now, when you create the workspace, you will have nothing in it. Okay, it will be completely blank. Now, how to populate that with the report? Uh, what you need to do is you need to open the zip file which you have downloaded for the center of excellence starter kit now here pbid one this two three four okay so this four pbid we will work on we won't worry about bring your own data lake uh, dashboard because that's a separate topic and altogether. first we need to take production then i will take governance third i'll take pulse and the fourth is the power platform admin planning okay what you need to do is uh before we even open this you need to grab the url of your uh coe environment now for me this is the url so i'll copy this url okay how you navigate you go to power platform admin center to open your relevant environment and grab the environment url this is an important step 
Now, once you grab that uh, URL, open the PBIT file. Okay. Now, once you open this file, uh, it will launch Power BI Desktop. So here you need to type in the URL. Now I've already copied the URL. So I'll just paste the URL and I'll click on load. Once I click on load, the screen will start populating uh, the Power BI desktop uh, visuals by connecting to the backend data model. And once the data model is loaded, you will be able to see the visuals now i will not upgrade this map as of now but i can show you the reports what it generates okay so it generated a whole bunch of reports over here okay and it will start loading all the visuals based on the data in the packet now uh, what i'm gonna do i'll go into the first uh, report first tab and I'll save this report. Now this is a production dashboard. So I'll just say file and uh, save as, okay? Now with the moment I do this file save as, it will ask me to save the information. Then I will uh, save it as production dashboard, which is the convention which I have followed. Uh, I'll click on save. Okay, now my PBX file is saved now. Okay, now if you see over here uh, that your pbx file is created and it is saved now now this pbx i'm going to publish in the service so file and uh, publish publish to power bi the moment i do that it will connect to my uh, power bi workspace if you're not connected then you need to log in once you're logged in click on the correct workspace and select now once it is done your report will be published in the cloud Okay, and then you can start accessing those report and sharing, share those report with the uh, different users. So now this is open. Okay, now how to navigate to this report, you can go into the Power BI workspace and go into the production dashboard. So let me open this dashboard in the Power BI service. Uh, it will open this report in the Power BI service. And then I can view and uh, see more information about the uh, apps and the flows and the bots within my uh, environment okay so we have done for one particular uh, report okay let me go into the second one now I'm going to say governance dashboard again the same process you need to open the pbit file and once you open that pbit file you uh, it will prompt for the url freshing the visual over here and again the same step we need to follow that we need to first save this uh, pbix file so which i'm going to do now file save as and now i will name this as governance dashboard okay so the moment i do that it will generate a pbix file and once everything is fine what i'm going to do i'll click on publish okay so i'll publish this report online in the power bi service select the workspace select and the report will be published it will ask me to override because i already had the report uh, created before so again here if i go into my coe workspace under coe workspace if i go to governance dashboard it will show me the updated version of the report so yeah the report is published and i should be able to see all the information with regards to the application so the third report which i'm going to do is called as a pulse dashboard so i'm going to open this pbid file now after a while you will see the power bi report being loaded now now this visual like there's some issue with the visual in this particular versions but uh, um, if everything is fixed up 
then you should see all the visual being loaded completely and then you can go ahead and click on publish to power bi report service okay now the fourth report which i want to show is it's called as power platform administration planning so i'm going to open this report now the pbid file now it's asking me to type in the organization url which i'll just paste and remember again here we need to remove the protocol and just leave it as, as it is okay it will start loading the visual uh, it's start connecting to the backend data model and then it'll try to render the visual So once it is done, then it will start showing you the visuals uh, for the Power Platform admin planning. Now, again, this report also, like some of the visuals are loaded, some of them are not. It's basically a bug within the Power BI report, which uh, I'm going to report it to the Power BI, uh, the Power Cat team, uh, and then like the Center of Excellence Startup Kit team, and then they will resolve this. So that's it, folks. Uh, this is how you, you know, like, uh, render the reports of center of excellence starter kit remember the step one is you need to open the pbid file once the pbid file is loaded in the power bi uh, then you save this as a pbix file and once that pbx file is complete then you publish those in the power bi service and uh, once you uh, publish into the power bi service you can go ahead and then you can uh, view the dashboard which is all uh, with rich with visuals and then you can generate insights out of it so that's it folks thanks for watching